Hello dear friends and welcome. As we are approaching the Greek Orthodox Easter and having so many requests for this particular recipe, I have decided to go ahead and make it. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make guluria, which is a Greek and Cypriot Easter small loaves of bread. And here I have all the ingredients I'm going to be using to make them. The best thing to do is to get all your ingredients ready before you start baking. And I have one more thing to do. I have to grind my mastic together with the mechlebi with one teaspoon of sugar. Okay, when it becomes like powder, and now we are ready to make the dough. Get all your dry ingredients in the bowl, the flour. Place the salt on one side, and on the other side place the yeast. Next add the baking powder, the cinnamon, the sugar, the aniseed, and the ground mastic and mechlebi. And mix everything together well. Next, make a well in the middle and add the oil and mix. And then with your hands, mix the two together until the flour resembles breadcrumbs. Okay, this is ready now and I'm going to start adding the milk gradually. I'm using lukewarm milk. and keep kneading until it comes together and it does not stick on your fingers. Okay, when it comes together, sprinkle some flour onto the surface, turn it out, and knead it for five minutes. After kneading for five to six minutes, put it back in the bowl brush it with some olive oil cover it up with cling film a tea towel and put it in a warm place to rest for an hour Okay, after the dough has been resting for an hour, before we go any further, we have to get the sesame seeds ready. Place them in a tea towel. Fold all the ends together and soak it under running water. and spread it out with a fork.
Okay, after an hour, remove the cling film. and turn it out onto the work surface. And knead it for a few seconds. Roll it into a long sausage. And then cut it in five parts. Okay. Place four parts back in the bowl. Cover them with the cling film so they don't go dry. And then roll it out. and then cut it in five parts. It doesn't matter if they are different sizes. Roll it and make a long strip. And then join the two ends together to make a ring. And then place it into the seats and press it down on both sides until it's well covered. And place it in a baking tray lined with baking paper and cover it. And continue until you use the three parts of the dough. The other two parts I'm going to make some bread. To recap, roll it out and make a long strip. Join the two ends together to make a ring. Place it in the sesame seeds and press it down on both sides so it's well covered. And when you place them in the tray, space them out because they tend to expand. And to keep the sesame seeds moist, add a little bit of more water. With the other two parts of the dough, I'm going to roll it and make two breads. And then roll it into the sesame seeds. And before you place it into the tray, score the top across. And this is the last part of the dough, which I'm going to make another bread. Roll it out, shape it, and then roll it into the sesame seeds. And score the top across. Place it in the baking tray, cover it. When you finish making them, keep them covered and let them rest for another 20 minutes. After 20 minutes of resting, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. And I'm going to place them in a preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius, between 25 and 35 minutes.
After 30 minutes, take them out of the oven and check them to see if they are ready, especially the little ones that take less time to cook. Check the bottom and if it's golden brown it means they are ready. The small ones are ready. And now I'm going to check the bread. I think the bread needs another few minutes, so I'm going to put it back in the oven. And after five minutes, I'm going to take them out of the oven and check them again to see if they are ready. and they actually look perfect but to make sure they are cooked I'm going to check the bottom and be careful because they are extremely hot and as you can see they are golden brown but knock the bottom with your knuckle and if it sounds hollow it means they are ready And I wish you were here, ladies and gentlemen, to smell the aromatic spices lingering in the kitchen. It's absolutely beautiful. Before serving, I'm going to let it stand for about 10 minutes to cool down a little bit. And here you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Ista Guluria. And now is the time of the truth. Time for a taste. What can I say, ladies and gentlemen, they're absolutely delicious, crusty, and very tasty. And now I'm going to try the bread. You don't have to cut it with a knife, you just rip it off. And I'm going to have this with a bit of butter. Wow, this is out of this world. I wish you were here, ladies and gentlemen, so I can share my Easter bread with you. It's absolutely delicious. And this bread goes so well with a nice English cup of tea. I hope you've enjoyed my video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. And I know time is in your hands at the moment. So go ahead and make them, you won't be disappointed. If you enjoy watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit like. There's one more thing I'd like to say, ladies and gentlemen, before I go. I know this year, Easter is a washout. No friends and not family to share this with and no church service. But I hope everything will be okay for next year. And just the same, I would like to wish you all a happy Easter. Stay home and be safe. Galo Pascha.